Rabbi when we talk about another Chuban, we're living here in Queens. The Shield, thanks to Torah and Time, is being broadcast around the world. But Queens actually has the largest community from the former USSR. Rabutai, my family came from there. I see quite a few families here that also came from there. They tried destroying Torah from its foundation over there. Rabbis were sent out to Siberia, put in prison for no reason, jailed, killed. And the community was left with nothing, no leadership at certain points. And Rabotai had tens of thousands of people came here, right over here in Queens, New York. The grandparents of these individuals, who are today 80, 90 years old, they're the remnants. They're holding on to the traditions. But as we're losing them, after 120, the next generation, and the second generation, and the third generation, next thing you know, Rabotai, there's nothing left. Like the previous speaker mentioned, Rabbi Rechimi, you have people going to public school system, and what are they doing to our kids, Rabotai? They're plowing any tradition that they have, any connection to Torah that they have, they're plowing it. They're getting rid of it. They're putting into these six, seven-year-old children all this contamination. And there's almost no chance to get them back, Chad Shalom. Because they're becoming, they're living this lifestyle. Rabotai, when we're talking about right over here, just down the block, 1,800 public school kids are Jewish. Right down the block. Two blocks further, another 700. A few blocks there, 300. We're talking about thousands just in this neighborhood. Rabotai, it's our achayut to really try to see what we could do to save these children. Shimon and his brother Reuven, they were public school kids from his community. Today, they're spreading Torah around the world in an unbelievable fashion. Two public school kids. Their mother is here. Their father is here. There is a chut. They have some sort of zechut. The Rabotai, who knows how many other Shimon and Rubens are in Forest Hills High School right now. One of Chazak's main mission, people think Chazak is a lecture organization. Yes, you see us doing a lot of lectures. We do lectures every single night of the week, basically. Ba'o Hashem, people come, they come live, they watch. The Rabotai, her main mission really is to save these public school kids before it's chas v'shalom too late. And I have to say, we have an unbelievable staff. We went from five locations for children, we're now up to 13 locations for children in public schools. We have teenage programs, five, six, seven hours a day, for public school kids. As I speak, there's 20 kids and staff in Israel, kids from public schools in Israel for Tisha B'Av. And Rabotai, in the past five years, we're able to put over 1,200 kids, take them out of public school, put them into yeshivot. These are unbelievable numbers. But Rabotai, we took out 1,200 in the past five years, but another two, 3,000 came in during that kufa. So we got to start saying, Rabotai, it's not just about, oh, it's your community's problem. This is an Am Yisrael problem. Rabotai, anyone that can get involved, you want to create more Shimons and more Rubens? Like Rabbi Rechim, he mentioned before his students today, some of his students that were from our program, the chokhmah that they're having, the chot Shabbat, unbelievable. They come to my shiur, and I don't want them to come. They're, they're questioning me, I don't have answers. But I say, Rabbi Rechim, take them back. But Hashem, how much they've grown over the past couple of years. And we're talking about hundreds of such students that we've changed, Ba'u Hashem. But Rabbi let's, let's take that message of Balak. The spelling is not right, but we shouldn't look at the spelling. If Am Yisrael is suffering, and we have a community here that Baruch is growing nicely, but we can always use another help, another helping hand from other communities. So if you can get involved, Rabotai, if you're watching us live, or if you're here live, you can reach out to Rabbi Abof, who Rabotai really deserves a tremendous round of applause. You don't realize what Rabbi does to put together, how many speakers here today? About 18, 19 speakers, you have to realize. All of us change time slots at least three or four times, at least I did, Right? And he keeps trying to figure out how to maneuver things. Mamash, unbelievable. I would say, honestly, Chazak's events wouldn't be what it is if it wasn't for Rabbi's hard work. Anyone that wants to help out with the public school programs, reach out to Rabbi. Reach out to myself. Reach out even to Shimon. He'll introduce you to, my, to myself. Whatever it may be, Rabotai, we have an opportunity to save these kids while the remnants of the building are still here. 
because the public school system is right now plowing them away, Chad Shalom, away from Torah and Mitzvot. Yeratzon this year should be the last Tisha B'Av where we're fasting. It should be the last Tisha B'Av where we have to mourn the destruction. And we should be Zashem B'Zuchet. And next year, we're going to have a Tisha B'Av in Yerushalayim, Yer HaKodesh, with the Binyan Bet HaMikdash, with the coming of Mashiach Tzidkenu. Bimera B'Amenu. Amen v'Amen.